Welcome back and in this particular video for our studio we're going to focus on creating some categories. So you have the option sometimes of wanting to look at data on a continuous scale but there may be other circumstances where you want to look at data maybe on a categorical scale um, where you might group things into like low, medium low, medium high, and high. So how might we do something like that? Um, and we just uh, redid an income variable if I remember right. Um, so we can play around with, with one of those. Um, we can also play around with the uh, life expectancy data as well. And I think we've got an existing variable called summary household income, called household income. So um, there are the summary statistics for that particular variable. So say we want to create a variable that sets this as the first quartile as all these numbers one things in between these being two uh, things between the median and the third quartile being three and then things being above the third quartile being four there are a variety of ways to approach this using um, kind of coding logic um, and you can start usually either at the bottom or at the top so we'll start at the top and uh, see how this goes so, first we have to kind of create a, uh, a new kind of variable to work with here. And we'll just call it uh, income four, and we'll say that income four equals um, numbers starting with four. We'll just say that, uh, we'll call it income four, that's meaning like there's four categories of it. And we'll say that everything in that is just going to be called four for now. And it just created something right there called income four. If I were to type in summary income four, summary income four, it's just created several thousand rows of, of four. All right. Now, what do we want to do with this variable income four? Well, income four is going to um, be changed a little bit. And we're going to say if the household income is less than or equal to 136191, we'll go ahead and keep that as four, which, you know, that probably that wouldn't have changed much. Everything will stay the same. Now I hit the up key, and now we're going to be going after this third quartile. So everything right now that's an income value still holds the title or the number of four. But if I change this to everything less than or equal to the uh, third quartile value of 56696 and then this becomes a 3 now we've got some more variety in there so everything from 136191 down to 56697 will be 4 everything from 656696 below right now is currently holding a 3 but we can change that. Now we'll focus on the, the median value, 48,885, which is the 50th percentile. 48,885. So now we're going to say that, that equal, everything from 48,885 now equals a 2. And now we're going to do our last one, which is the first quartile, which is 42,275. Everything of the value of 42, 275 and below will now be coded as a 1. And um, there may be an issue that we would want to resolve with regards to missing data. But for now, we'll just do a histogram on our income for variable and see what it looks like. And I guess... Uh, Histogram may not be the correct formula. It's hist income four. And looks pretty even. 
We can also do tabulate, tabulate income four. It shows you that group one has 786, group two, group three, and group four have 785 each. You can also do summary income four. And you can see that the first quartile is one, the median is two, the third quartile is three, and then everything above the third quartile would theoretically be four. We can visualize it by doing a plot, income four comma household income. You can also see here are the ones, here are the twos, here are the threes, here are the fours. Easy enough. And one other thing I just noticed, which is really good, is the NAs, the non-applicables, were actually assigned a non-applicable, you know, they weren't assigned a number, one, two, three, or four. So